This is David Hoffman, documentary filmmaker, YouTube commentator, about to share with you a thought that I hope will be helpful to you regarding working from home. Now, many of you are now working from home because you have to. Some of you are working from home because, like me, you can. And I find it just wonderful, and I want to give you some thoughts about it. I've always had a studio at home. My dad worked at home. He was an artist, and he didn't like the office, and he didn't do well in the office. So he was a freelance illustrator doing book jackets in New York City, and he had a studio. And I've always had, no matter how small my place was, a studio, a place you could go and think and have it kind of be sloppy, your studio. So I'd like to look with you at what this whole working at home is about during the coronavirus pandemic. First of all, corporations built giant buildings. I mean, huge office buildings because they generally believed that people were more efficient in a variety of ways when they worked together. That messaging could be passed, the corporate messaging, that interactions around the water cooler and around the lunchroom created kind of group creativity that you could feel like a team. These are all real things, I think, and people did experience them. But then now we're forced to be at home. Some corporations are finding it not to their liking at all. Back when I worked as a freelancer, high level communication for AT&T, most of my colleagues were full-time employees. They went to work every day and they told me more than half of their time was spent in internal meetings trying to get things right. So they spent more time meeting with each other than they actually spent doing the work, which very few people liked. So Pinterest just paid 90 million bucks to get out of a lease for their offices because they think more people can work from home more efficiently. I'm about to tell you some statistics about that. Whereas Facebook believes that they want their employees back working on the job. They just took a gigantic space in New York City for Facebook offices. So let's look at the workplace. I mean, let's be honest about it. Many of us spent an hour or more each way driving in a car or taking a train or a bus. It's awful. Traffic is awful. There's not much you can do. It's just lame, wasted time. If you work at home, it gives you more time, correct? Correct. I mean, commuting has its negative effects that can be proven. There is research that shows higher anxiety among people who commute, more stress, uh, less a feeling of getting up, having your coffee, looking at the sun or fair fog or rain and going to work. I find that I work about 11 hours a day, nine and a half of which are productive. Who, who goes in an office can say that? Most people know half the time in the office isn't spent productively. So the Chinese hired Stanford University to do this study at a call center. They certainly found that employees who worked from home answered more calls productively each day. And interestingly enough, they didn't have any sick days. Just think about that, no sick days. So I think that the real issue is, what's the value of face-to-face? -face? I mean, corporate culture believes that face-to-face -face has real values. Information is exchanged. Creativity is improved. Uh, the team spirit is improved. That's on the one side, for sure. On the other side, let's think about millennials. They're more raised on their computers. My sons, who are below millennials, uh, live in a Zoom kind of a world. They live in a world where, yeah, that's my friend. We talk. They know as much. They see as much. They see more, in fact, when they're looking at a face on a computer than I do. So I believe that the younger generations are more able to work from home and still feel that team meeting, that group access, that creativity, maybe even more so. So I do work from home and I have it working really well. I have my studio. In the studio, I connect with people. I have all my piles of stuff piled up. And then I have a thinking space. This is a chair. I go to this chair, I take my pen and I write thoughts. Very creative, very private, very what's in my mind. So these two spaces are required. Now there is a problem. I don't get lonely. I find myself fascinating when I'm thinking out the kinds of things I'd like to express to you all. But some people get really lonely. They don't work well alone. I don't knock them. They should be in the workplace. I don't think that Zoom or this future of kind of little boxes with faces is going to equal the water cooler, as they used to say. So not everybody is right for working at home. But if you are, I am hopeful that this is helpful to you. 
Leave a comment as to your experience, past, present, and future. If you're thinking things are gonna either change, back. Hey, by the way, what's gonna to happen to all those office buildings in every major city? Holy moly, what are they gonna become? Kind of like carnival centers? That's a lot of office space right now, empty. I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to sharing my thoughts with you. It's David Hoffman, filmmaker. Thank you all.